Earth is not the greatest place to be right now here in March 2020. Fortunately, you all have been creating some amazing worlds we can escape to. In today's video, I react to your maps. Hi everybody, my name is Nate and you are watching WASD20, a channel about tabletop RPGs and fantasy maps. If that sounds like something you're into, I would love to have you subscribe down below and you can also hit that little bell button so that you get notifications when I post new videos. So in just a minute here, we're gonna be looking at a few of the maps that have been submitted over on the Nate Critiques channel over on the WASD20 Discord server, which I'll put a link to down below. Just a reminder, if you do post any maps there, first of all, understand very few out of the dozens and dozens that have been posted will actually show up in a video and if you want some actual critique in a prompt fashion, please post it on the Maps channel, not just the Nate Critiques channel. There are a lot of really smart cartographers and world builders over there that are willing to give advice. Before we get to your maps, I do want to give a quick word of thanks to my sponsor for this video, Nerdarchy, with their book, Out of the Box Encounters. This is going to be a huge book full of D&D 5th edition compatible encounters that you can easily slot into your game at any point. The book raised about half a million dollars on Kickstarter last summer and unlocked tons of awesome stretch goals, as you can see here. Go check out all the detail over at pledges.nerdarchy.com and pre-order the book today. Go check it out. Thanks, Nerdarchy. So the maps. Because we've got a lot of maps to get through, I'm not going to be able to give super detailed feedback here, but I will just point out a couple things that I noticed per map. Some things I like, some things I don't. Uh, for the first couple, I just noticed some possible issues, if you want to call them that, with the uh, water, bodies of water. In this one right here, it's not so much an issue as it is a question, and that is, are these right here and this right here? intended to be rivers or are they straights? Because the way they're laid out right now, they look like they should be straights. In other words, we're not going to so much see a river going coast to coast. That would be a straight. Therefore, this body of water right here would actually be salt water and these would be rivers draining into that straight. The same thing is true right up here. And this one definitely reads more like a straight because it's wider. The other thing I'll say is I'm not a big fan of the way that rivers often look in incarnate maps like this one, and you might try uh, knocking your brush to the thinnest possible setting as you're doing those rivers there. And also try the line tool. If you actually get a line and you can just draw a line that matches your water, that can often create a thinner river that looks better. But overall, I think you've got a nice map here. This one right here, wow, this is a really nice looking map. I really like what I'm seeing. The colors especially are just awesome. The nice way it blends, the bright blue along the coastline as it sort of gets darker to that deep navy blue as it goes further out. Really nice looking map. The thing I'm noticing on this one and the next map is some river bifurcation going on. That is when rivers split. It is exceedingly rare in nature. And on this map, it's all over the place. Now, it's a fantasy world, and you might have good magical reasons for it, and that's totally fine. But I just thought I would point it out right here, right here. Uh, looks like right here as well. And then down here, it's just all over the place. Now, as I'm closer in here, maybe this is a marsh, and so sometimes people can draw a swampy area with lots of kind of intertwining rivers. Uh, as a way to represent that it's a swamp, uh, but from a distance at least it looked like rivers, so you might want to make that look a little more obvious. All right, next map here is a nice looking one. I really like the texture you've got going on with the uh, aged paper. It looks super grungy, especially in the water there. I like the watercolor a lot. I like your mountains here. I like the shape of them and the very simple shading style I think really works well. There are a couple things I think could improve this map. Uh, one thing I think is uh, maybe more dense clusters of trees rather than just having them sparsely scattered everywhere. And the other thing I think is having a bit of more variation to the coastline and even kind of once in a while with the river going in like that a little bit, I think can look nice. And this right here too, just having a little bit more, you know, variety to the coastline. It looks a little boxy in my opinion. And the last thing I want to point out here is we do have once again, some river bifurcation going on. If it's intentional, great, but just wanted to point that out in case you weren't aware. All right, next one here. I absolutely love this style of mountains here. Uh, it's really cool looking. It definitely looks like it was done with a brush pen and it's almost like a, a Japanese uh, brush landscape. That's what it looks like to me. 
Uh, so I really love that. It really makes this map unique and it makes it stand out from the crowd. That's one of the main reasons I chose this one. Uh, overall, I think, you know, definitely you mentioned, I think in your post that you were thinking about redoing it because the, the city's got a little messed up and I, yeah, I agree, you know, having a little more control of your brush pen in those areas or brush or whatever you're using, or maybe using the, the finer point that you used on other parts of the map and maybe making them a little bit smaller would be good. And I think those are things you said you were aware of. Um, overall, however, I think the main um, uh, piece of feedback I'd give is it's, it's very busy and that can be really good, but it also just the trade-off with that is that it makes things hard to pick out. Like I spent a lot of time looking at this map and I, I think I finally figured out where the water is supposed to be. Like I think this is water right here and this is water here and this is water here and yeah but but it took me a while to figure that out looking at the map because it's just so there's so much going on also i just noticed now i think this is a dragon and that's awesome but like i looked at it quite a bit before and i didn't see that so again i think if you uh, kind of make it a little bit less busy um you could make those things more visible but that is a trade-off because because just a full map does look cool so i get that too anyway Really nice work, uh, keep it up, hope to see more maps from you. All right, next up, man, I love the aged paper look here, the authentic, like tea or coffee soaked and burned edges and everything. This one definitely has the feel of like an in-world map, you know, like someone in this world made this map. Uh, and I think one of the things that gives it that look is not just the burning of the edges and all that stuff, but also the, the text. It's really cool, I like it, I think it adds a lot. Uh, overall, I think the thing that could improve this map most is probably adding a bit more peaks to your mountains. So, you know, it looks a bit like it's got that wall effect going on, which is semi-realistic, actually. I just happen to like it better when we actually see some peaks. So actually, kind of going like this with your coastline here and there um, could do that. And then you can go in and you can make these slopes, and it just ends up looking a little more majestic with these towering peaks like that. So that's definitely something to consider, but overall really nice work on this one. All right, this one here, wow, the watercolor. It's beautiful, I love the colors. It, it just makes it pop, it makes it stand out really nicely. A lot of us Photoshoppers really try to achieve that level of watercolor irregularity digitally, and you, you know, you just nailed it. You can't do much better than watercolor for that sort of thing. I really like that. In terms of some critique on this one here, I definitely think that the uh, coastline kind of wavy lines look a little bit too much like an elaborate dotted line to me. Uh, they're just a little bit too predictable in, in terms of the breaks in the line. So anyway, that's just something to consider there. And also I'm wondering uh, about how heavily populated is this world supposed to be? Because right now, this area, you know, this area right here, it looks like a lot of this world is populated, extremely heavily populated. And on most fantasy maps, and again, I don't know much about your world, you're gonna see for every acre of town or city, you're gonna see like a hundred or more acres of wilderness. So anyway, just something to think about. But overall on this one, really nice work. It's very bright and colorful, I like that. And it's very clean as well. Also, if I were writing a campaign or perhaps a book in this world, I would definitely call it The Shadow of Arm. See what I did there? Yeah, you know, because there's there's the arm. Oh, except it's fantasy, so we gotta, you know, add the little, there we go, arm. All right, the next map. I honestly have very little critique of this map here. It is really nice looking. Uh, I love the look of the land masses. Um, yeah, I just think everything's really well done. I love the little bits of island. I like the trees. I like the mountains. I do think maybe the trees could be a bit smaller. Um, they're, in some cases, taller than the mountains. So that's something just to think about there. Uh, but overall, I'm really liking what I see here. I wonder, are there any settlements in this world? Uh, even just seeing, like, you know, a dot or two here or there. Uh, perhaps, like, some of these places are settlements. But putting, like, a dot right here or something like that would actually indicate to me that it truly is a settlement. Uh, I also think maybe the compass rose could be a tad bit bigger, but uh, yeah, I'm just nitpicking here. Great work. All right, next up. Wow, man, another banger. This one's gorgeous. I love the uh, these very kind of dwarven or Norse looking dudes here. Really cool. 
super clean. The line work is excellent. The mountains look great. The trees look great. Really nice work on this map. Uh, another thing I'm noticing on this one too is, is the lack of settlement markers. You have text, but are any of these places actually settlements? I think just having a dot or some kind of icon there would really help sell that to me. So really solid map in the first place, but then you add in a really clean border, uh, this really unique compass rose and these faces in the corners and all of that just adds to it and really helps elevate it even further. All right, we've got another watercolor map here. Uh, this one looks a little bit more of like a zoomed in region. Uh, really liking what I'm seeing here. Uh, I don't know how you did the, I think these are roads here, uh, but I'm really impressed that you managed to keep them kind of intact with all the watercolor paint flowing around. Perhaps you coated them afterwards in white somehow, but I don't know. Really impressed with that. And man, this took some time. Check out these trees here. Really, really nice work on those. I love the style. I love the kind of reddish uh, nature of the most of the settlements here and the nice variety in settlements too. I do think the mountains uh, could be elevated a little bit higher here and I think maybe making them some other color than white, like a brownish or a grayish uh, would also look kind of nice. The map does have a lot of stark white all around this colored area and I do kind of wonder what it might look like if you kind of went with an off-white sort of a, a parchment-y color in the stark white areas and if that might help bring a little more visual balance while still making sure that the main region you're highlighting here in the middle pops out. This map is also just another testament to the power of those extra things, these coat of arms along the left side here really do help elevate it a lot. And your handwriting, or I guess I should call it calligraphy, is really nice too. Next! All right, this one. Wow, this map is freaking adorable, I think is the technical term for it. It's just, it's really cute. I mean, it's super simple, it looks cartoony, and I love it. Bright, colorful, imaginative, really nice work. I love the settlements. Um, you know, the mountains are a very simple style that I think really works well with the rest of the map. Um, you've got these cool icons here, the border is nice, this title thing is nice, the compass rose being kind of askew is kind of cool, and uh, yeah. The only minor piece of critique I might offer is if these are not floating islands, if this landmass is not floating in the air, uh, it kind of looks like that to me. And the only reason I say that here is because these edges are kind of all pointed in and yeah, they, see, they seem pointed at the bottom, which to me has that traditional look of floating islands. So maybe that's what they are and if so, well done. But if one were wanting to sell them as in the water, I think it would help if these were not so pointed in, but rather kind of went straight down-ish here and then like this. And similarly over here, kind of straight down there. Also, why no love on this one right here? Uh, no kind of cliffs there, but it seems that all the other ones did get some. But man, this one is a really nice map. All right, this one here, wow. Uh, really nice work on the colors here. Uh, it's gorgeous. Uh, I'm guessing this is a wonder draft map and a couple things I'm wondering about here. Sorry, that was terrible. Uh, are these clouds? Are these clouds? What, what's going on here? It looks like a forest at a distance, like a white forest of some kind. And for that matter, beware in Wonderdraft, the mountains. They don't blend well. Uh, all these mountains here and here, they just kind of look like they're floating above the land a little bit because they're so kind of whitish gray in some very dark areas but beautiful work on the colors of uh, the biomes, the different regions. It looks really, really nice. I think you've got a great start here. Also, this region right here, super interesting. I, I kind of feel like it needs an epilepsy warning. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a little too crazy for me, uh, but maybe there's a good reason for that in your world for it looking like that. And if so, good on you. Now, our last map here was not posted in the Nate Critiques channel. It was actually in the most recent contest over on the WASD20 Discord channel, uh, a contest to create a map for our tavern channel, which is kind of a, a role-playing channel that takes place in a tavern. So this map is by Jog Brogzen, and he won the contest, and I just wanted to say congrats, Jog. 
your map is amazing. You can find Jog Brogzin on Patreon if you're interested in seeing more of his work. He does really great work. I've seen immense improvement from him on his work over the last several months. And just check out this tavern map, the isometric view, the multi levels, the gates of Umska. What a cool name for a map. So uh, thanks very much to all of you who submitted maps in the latest Discord mapping contest and expect more mapping contests soon. So definitely head on over to the Discord for the Nate Critiques channel, the awesome feedback other people are giving on the Maps channel, and stay tuned for a upcoming contest. Well, we did it. We made it through a bunch of really awesome maps. Thanks again to all who submitted maps. I'm sorry if we didn't get to yours, but I do want to give a quick mention of something that's coming up that I'm really excited about, the mapping. It was a about monthly or so mapping stream that I used to do on WASD 20, and it was a lot of fun, and I really miss it. Given the whole social distancing thing our world is going through, I think it's more and more important for us to have these meaningful connections in any way we can, and the mapping is one of those ways that I really used to connect with you, the viewers. So I'm going to be hosting another mapping coming up. The date on that will be Friday, the 27th of March at 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So mark your calendars, the mapping coming up next week, Friday. I'm super excited for it. I hope you can join me. We'll spend, you know, an hour and a half, two hours just drawing some maps and doodling some things and talking and hanging out together. So it should be a lot of fun. Come on and join in on the live chat. Lastly, before I go, I want to give a huge thank you to the WASD20 patrons. Speaking of mapping streams, I do weekly live map drawing streams for my patrons. These amazing people help support my work and it's the least I can do for them hanging out with them once a week. So if you're interested in that, come join us over at patreon.com slash WASD20. All right, comments, questions, leave those down below. I always love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you give it a like. And uh, that's it. Take care, everybody. Stay healthy. You'll see me again very soon.